Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, who bore the creator of all things. You became the mother of your maker, and you remained forever virgin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today, Holy Mother Church observes the memorial of the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the temple. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Here are my two witnesses. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone wants to harm them, fire comes out of their mouths and devours their enemies. In this way, anyone wanting to harm them is sure to be slain. They have the power to close up the sky so that no rain can fall during the time of their prophesying. They also have power to turn water into blood and to afflict the earth with any plague as often as they wish. When they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will wage war against them and conquer them and kill them. Their corpses will lie in the main street of the great city, which has the symbolic names Sodom and Egypt where indeed their Lord was crucified. Those from every people, tribe, tongue, and nation will gaze on their corpses for three and a half days, and they will not allow their corpses to be buried. The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and be glad and exchange gifts because these two prophets tormented the inhabitants of the earth. But after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them. When they stood on their feet, great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven say to them, Come up here. So they went up to heaven in a cloud as their enemies looked on. The word of the Lord. Be Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O oh God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-string lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, If someone's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman but died childless. Then the second and the third married her, and likewise all the seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now at the resurrection, whose wife will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry. But those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels. And they are the children of God because they are the ones who will rise. That the dead will rise, even Moses made known in the passage about the bush when he called, Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And he is not God of the dead, but of the living, for to him all are alive. Some of the scribes said in reply, Teacher, you have answered well. And they no longer dared to ask him anything. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, the memorial of the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary is something that we get from the church's tradition, not from scripture. We do not learn of the childhood of Mary from the word of God, but rather from the oral tradition of the early church. In it, her elderly parents, Joachim and Anne, went and presented her to the Lord at the temple, and she was raised in the temple. This beautiful tradition is something that we can learn from because we need to understand what is the purpose of life? Mary as a child was already dedicated. She was presented in the temple and all of her life would unfold single-mindedly focused on how can I do the will of God? You and I could learn from that because so much of the present angst, whether it's the angst about health concerns or it's the angst about political concerns, it's all wrapped up in this world. In the kingdom of heaven, there are no elections. That's why we honor Christ the King tomorrow. In the kingdom of heaven, there is no sickness because we've already died and risen, sharing in Christ's glory. So everything that's getting people upset right now is as nothing if we focus on doing the will of God. If we can be like Mary, single-minded, there will be crosses and there will be blessings. My mission is to live in union with God and to be his witness in our world. And in these beautiful last days of the church's liturgical year, we hear from the book of Revelation all about the kingdom that will come. Let's remember to set our hearts on that kingdom, our true home, and not get worked up by the circus that's along this journey that we pass through this valley of tears on. Our home is in heaven. May Mary, our mother, help us each step of that journey and may we never lose focus.
Turning to our loving Father, let us place before him all of our needs. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Archbishop Hebda, for Bishop Cousins, for all the shepherds of the church, let us pray to the Lord. For all Christians, that we may learn from the Blessed Virgin Mary how to ponder the mysteries of our faith in our hearts and receive the peace of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. For all those who have wandered far from God's love, that they may return to his healing mercy in the sacrament of reconciliation, let us pray to the Lord. For a lasting peace and justice throughout the world, let us pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, that they may rise with Christ in glory through the mercy of God, let us pray to the Lord. Almighty God, we ask you to hear these, our prayers, and grant them if they be in accord with your holy will. We ask them as all things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we honor the memory of the mother of your Son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may, by your grace, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And with the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of the presentation of the Blessed Ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. He who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name.
Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended.